Today we're going to be talking about the Ring of Solomon. Now this is a line that forms in a semicircular arc just underneath the index finger. It normally starts near the lifeline or somewhere close to there and it ends in between the index finger and the ring finger. And in order to understand a little bit about this I want to explain the role of Jupiter because this line is heavily influenced by Jupiter. In Vedic mythology Jupiter was known as Guru. Guru means teacher. In other words, this guy was the teacher to all the gods. He was the guy who had all the spiritual secrets, knew all the Vedic rituals, and he was able to give blessings in abundance in accordance with that. In other words, Indra, Agni, and all these other gods looked up to Jupiter whenever they needed to go into war or battle or some sort of conflict with all the demons that they were always fighting against. In other words, Jupiter was an all-round good guy, and that and that knowledge is what's going to help you understand this line because the ring of Solomon also known as the ring of Jupiter gives you wisdom it also gives you spiritual insight and the one that most people are interested about is it gives you psychic abilities and when I do a reading for someone this is one of the first areas I look at to see if this person has a ring of Jupiter or a ring of Solomon or not because if they have this line, then I know that this is somebody who's going to be learning, someone who's going to be growing spiritually, and therefore I can deliver my message accordingly. This is a pretty rare sign. When I first started out in palmistry, I think it was maybe 1 in 100 or 1 in 50 people used to have this line, but more recently I'm noticing it's every second person has this line. And I don't know if that's because this line is becoming more common, because mankind as a whole is becoming more spiritual, or it's just maybe because I'm doing readings for more spiritual people lately. But that's a general idea that once upon a time this line was rare. In fact, if you look up a lot of the ancient palmistry texts, particularly the ones that are a couple hundred years old, to as recently as written maybe in the 90s or something, they'll tell you that this line is rare. But as I said, it's starting to become more common now, probably because we're becoming more spiritual now. Now this line starts in several different places. The first place it normally starts out is connected to the lifeline. And in this context, it's somebody who's going to develop their own sense of spirituality as their life progresses. When this life starts a little bit above the lifeline, then that's somebody who has their own inner drive to learn about spirituality. If this line cuts the actual lifeline and goes into what's known as the area of Mars, closer to the thumb, then that's a very rare case. What that happens is that this is somebody who's seen ghosts and spirits around the house. This person has the ring of Solomon cutting the lifeline at these two points. Now, this person was obviously seeing ghosts and spirits around the house, and so what we're going to do is see if we can try and time these events. So in order to time it, what you do is you draw a vertical line from the middle of the ring finger and index finger straight down into the lifeline. And that becomes the age of 20. You then divide that space from the right of the hand so you get to the age of 10. And that's the midpoint there. Now if you divide from 10 to 20, you'll get 15. And if you go from 10 to the right to the midpoint there, you get the age of 5. So that's how you can time things generally on the lifeline. Now coming back to this hand here, these two breaks that happen from the Ring of Solomon through the lifeline, that happened at approximately the age of 4 and also at the age of 11. What happened with this individual was their grandmother died at the age of 4, but they didn't realize it. In fact, they after the death, they kept seeing their grandmother everywhere and they because they were so young, they didn't know what death was. And so she, this person was seeing that spirit around the house. There was also, at the age of 11, I think they told me they went to stay with their aunt, and over there there was some spooky happenings or something like that took place there as well. Now, that may sound like a bad thing, but this is actually a strong spiritual indicator here. So it may be fearful at the time, but in the long term, it's actually a really good sign to have. The other thing you should also look for is where this line breaks, because that's also going to give you some indication on what's happening in this person's life. Now, this person here, for example, is a 17-year-old young man, and when his mother sent me this picture of this hand, she was telling me that he's going off the deep end, he's just becoming very self-destructive, and she didn't know what was going on. So, as I said, the first thing I do is look at the Jupiter finger to see what's going on with this. And I can see these two breaks taking place there. 
Now, at the time when these breaks took place and what impact they're going to have on this person's life, I want you to imagine a semicircular arc as if that line were complete. And to time those breaks, we're going to take the point at the rightmost side as zero and the point connecting to the fingers as the age of 35. The midpoint of that arc would therefore be 17 to 18 years of age, but let's just say 17. And the quarter points there would be the age of eight and a half to 23 and a half. So coming back to this guy's hand, he had his ring of Jupiter broken between the age of 16 to 19. So when, they, when I got this picture at the age of 17, he was already about 12 months into this dark phase of his life. And when this line breaks, it basically weakens the influence of Jupiter on this person. So the wisdom, the spiritual insight, all of that has left them by this point anyway, but it's going to come back to him after the age of 19. When you do see these breaks, have a look at what else is happening on the hand, particularly on the lifeline. Now, if you look here, there's two significant breaks happening from other lines here. One is happening at the age of 16, and the other is happening at the age of 19. Now, that first line at the age of 16, because it's very small, we could say that's a family problem happening here. And the other one at the age of 19, that actually is a branch coming out of the heart line and cutting the lifeline. In other words, what's going to happen to this person is at the age of 16, there's going to be a big family problem, and the mother confirmed that. There was a, I, th I think there was a big argument that happened with this person's father and their brother, and they had to separate the house or something along those lines there. But as a result of which, this person basically or essentially lost their faith in higher spirituality, and they're going to keep losing their sense of spirituality until the age of 19, when through heartbreak, most likely through a relationship ending or a girlfriend uh, relationship breaking up, this person's going to turn back towards spirituality once again. Now when you see this ring, there's going to be three signs that will be most commonly formed on it. The first is going to be a swastika symbol, and more often than not, it's going to be irregularly shaped, so it won't be like a perfect Hindu swastika. And by the way, this is an Indian swastika, not like the Nazi German type. The other common symbol that you're going to find on this is a window and that's basically a box with like a big plus sign in it and the other one you're going to find is a square. So all three signs are very similar and it's very easy to confuse one from another but we'll make separate videos on this later to tell you exactly what these signs mean. Now guys that's my take on this sign on the Ring of Solomon or the Ring of Jupiter. If you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and I'll try and get back to you. Otherwise, hit the like button or subscribe to this channel and you can get more content just like this. Thank you.